the first electric generation facility constructed by the Grand River Dam Authority in over 30 years is nearing completion. Soon, the Unit 3 combined cycle gas plant will go online, adding another 495 megawatts of efficient, reliable generation capacity to an already diverse GRDA portfolio. That much anticipated completion date will be historic, not only for GRDA, but also the nation's electric industry due to the turbine spinning at the heart of Unit 3. The M501J model combustion turbine is the first of its kind deployed in the Western Hemisphere and gives the new GRDA Unit 3 the potential to be the most efficient combined cycle generator in the nation. Of course, that was by design. The story of Unit 3 actually began several years ago when GRDA's board, management, employees, and customers all came together to shape the Authority's future generation plan. After much discussion and research, and with full support of GRDA's customers, the decision was made to construct Unit 3. In March of 2014, GRDA signed a contract with Mitsubishi Hitachi Power Systems Americas for the construction of the M501J. Later that year, GRDA entered a contract with TIC Kiewit to construct the unit. In January 2015, the Authority held an historic groundbreaking event on the future site of Unit 3. It was a special day as the board, customers, employees, and stakeholders all gathered to witness the beginning of the first GRDA construction project since the early 1980s. Throughout the ongoing work, many major components and milestones were reached, including the arrival of the M501J to Oklahoma in February 2016. GRDA marked that event with a ceremony at the Port of Catoosa. The latest milestone was achieved in early March 2017 when the turbine's first fire was completed. This was a key moment along the path to the unit's final commissioning, which continues today. Over the last several months, we have been transitioning from a construction project to a commissioning project. This has all kind of culminated into last week, where we had a huge week where we had first fire for the first time. We went on to bring the unit online for the first time, actually produce electricity to the grid, and then we commenced steam blows, which is the process where we clean our uh, piping that we've constructed uh, before we let any of that steam go to any of the turbines. And we were able to do that in about three days, which is record time for a plant like this. Uh, that process typically takes about two weeks to accomplish. I did get to do first fire, uh, on the first 501J in the Western Hemisphere and the other night I was up uh, making 36 megawatts and I realized I was the only one in North America on a 501J that was making actually megawatts at the time and that's pretty exciting. We have a, a lot going on right now. We just had the first fire where we uh, brought the combustion turbine on for the first time, uh, synced it with the grid and actually made power, um, continuing to work through um, commissioning of the steam turbine, getting it ready. Um, soon we'll be bringing it online and uh, testing it, getting it ready to put on the grid. Um, just a huge number of things going on right now and they're all moving very rapidly. So it's a lot to keep up with, uh, keep track of. They've got just uh, people all over the place working on everything and trying to, trying to keep up with uh, all of what's going on is a huge challenge day to day uh, out here for all of us. The most exciting piece, I think, was the initial first fire of the CT. Uh, just seeing it fire up for the first time was a, a, a big a big deal. It's kind of from scratch, seeing it roll in on a on a trailer and then and put in place, and now it's uh, you know it's capable. It's it's making power. It can make power. And uh, the future out here is uh, ought to be a very, very bright future for any of us. In a, you know, so I'm excited about it. Most rewarding for me is been working on equipment, making it to where it will run correctly. And then when you finally get to see it run and start doing what it's supposed to do, it's pretty rewarding. My responsibilities specifically for Unit 3 were to uh, both manage the operators um, as we come up to speed and start operating the plant, um, but mainly 
uh, managing the training program for everybody. Uh, so not just the operators, but for the maintenance departments also. So there's some experience on the crews for people who have, who have been at combined cycle facilities before, but not enough that we could rely on. So we went to the very bottom route, basic um, training program, starting off with just the fundamentals of what a combined cycle plan is, all the way up through really um, just uh, hands-on experience with operating the plant so that, you know, we, so we spent months and thousands of man hours that we invested into these guys and into our team. So when we get the plant turned over to us, we really feel confident in operating it and are comfortable doing the things that's necessary to keep the plant running and operate it efficiently and correctly. My personal involvement with uh, the Unit 3 project uh, ramped up you know, significantly in uh, May of 2016 at which point when I was tasked with uh, uh, developing a startup and commissioning team or selecting a startup and commissioning team to support uh, that project and all those activities. Uh, the team was selected and comprised of uh, representatives from each uh, Grec O&M department, um, operations, maintenance, mechanical, electrical, INC, etc. Um, and their, that team's responsibility since that point Ever since that time, has been to um, support the on-site contractors and the construction activities, and to learn uh, the process of a combined cycle plant. One of my most re uh, rewarding moments was during the training process, or uh, training program. Um, I witnessed a mechanic who had no electrical background uh, stand up in front of a class and um, draw a one line and describe a electrical system, and at which point I asked questions about that, pretty uh, detailed questions about that system and he was able to answer that. So uh, it was very rewarding to see uh, each of the crafts and each of the representatives from each department cross over and train um, on the plant in its ent entirety. Um, the guys have shown great teamwork, uh, they've all shown leadership and considerable dedication to the project and uh, that's, that's very rewarding um, as a representative of Greg Management. Uh, it's been an ex exciting time to this point. The work's definitely not over. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and uh, we're looking forward to, to it being a, a great success. I think Unit 3 will be uh, really good for them because it's a long-term investment, and uh, it'll be the most efficient. And uh, part of my uh, hurdles was learning a combined cycle because I was always used to the coal units. So I got to learn on the gas plant and the combined cycle and just the experience and being able to say that you got to commission a new unit is, is very exciting. And I think it's a very good investment for GRDA. I think the, the facility is, is a great future for GRDA. With the new regulations coming out for air quality standards from the EPA um, being uh, a new unit, highly efficient, uh, low emissions. Um, it's going to provide us uh, an ability to keep providing power for all of our customers uh, throughout Oklahoma and, and other states where we provide power to. Um, the existing coal-fired plants are reduced in how much we can use them because of the air quality standards and uh, unit one shutting down. It's uh, providing us an opportunity to keep doing what we've been doing for the past 30 years with uh, the GREC facility. I look at it as a bright new future. You know, back when they built the coal plants, they were, had a long extended life and now we're, we're extending our generation life with the natural gas. I mean, we have another expected 30 years of generation with the combined cycle plants. And that's the new and more efficient. It'll be a lot more efficient. I think it'll be a, better for our authority-wide and our customer-wide. It's, it's a really big impact. So I know that, you know, we at GRDA are committed to producing low-cost power for Northeast Oklahoma and all the jobs that are associated with that. And so this allows us to continue that mission. It's, um, compared to a coal plant, it's much more efficient. Um, and we're going to produce low-cost power and allow us to um, operate in the SPP market and um, contribute, contribute to the economy, contribute to low-cost power in the region, 
And I, I think that's very important. I think that our customers need that, that want that from us and need it. Um, and this is the way that we're gonna do it.